Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Jacob back here for the J Choice channel. And today we have another Blue review, another 4K review, another Warner Brothers review. Uh, it's been a been a hot week for them. We have the uh, the 4K re-release of Poltergeist, the original 1982 film. There, um, Steven Spielberg production. Poltergeist there. So that little yellow. Um, it's not a sticker. It looks like a sticker. Oh, I lied. It's a sticker. It's just very glossy. Uh, it says. Warning, the film contains sequences of flashing lights that may affect viewers who are susceptible to photosensitive epilepsy or other photosensitivities. So, um, the original, uh, like I said, classic Poltergeist film available now for the first time in 4K with this super glossy slip. This is another one, guys, that I hadn't watched until I had uh, was sent the re-release. Or sent the, yeah, the release. Um, makes me want to watch the, is it 2000? I think it was a 2010s movie, uh, the the remake Poltergeist. Um, though typically they never hold up, especially that era of movies. But either way, Poltergeist. So I enjoyed this. I really did. It's it's a it's nice to revisit these, especially in the in the premium format, most premium format, which 4K is. But it's nice to re to see these like finally, like this and the Lost Boys, etc. Um, finally, you'd hear about these movies and you see them, especially now that we're on 4K. Saw the DVD release, you see the, the probably the, some sort of special edition DVD release, you see the Blu-ray release, and now we have the 4K release. So just to, to finally see it in 4K was really cool. Um, there you have the back there, which I'll, I'll go over with you. The slip there, Poltergeist. Love the font here um, that they use and the, the way the logos look, etc. So real quick, just on the slip cover back, um, we have... So the night, like I said, 1982 film, uh, Poltergeist. This is rated. Oh, you want to see this? Not me. Rated PG, 114 minutes, so right under two hours. Um, it does have Adobe Audio. Uh, I don't believe it has Adobe Vision. So this is the second in a row um, to not have Adobe Vision. This and the Lost Voice, though, with these older ones, it it, uh, it makes sense. Now this is PG. Literally rated PG. Now, I just did a review yesterday for The Lost Boys. That was rated R, and I would imagine you'd probably be more likely to watch The Lost Boys with your kiddos than this. Not, mind you, I don't recommend watching either of them with your kiddos, but PG is like Minions Rise of Gru was PG, and you have Poltergeist PG. Now, I understand it's the ratings for back then, but that blew me away that this had a significantly lower rating than uh, The Lost Boys, even though there's only a five-year difference between the two films. So it is... Um, some pretty gruesome stuff, pretty creepy imagery. We have the special features are on the Blu-ray disc only for this one. So the 4K disc is just the standard film, um, which is fine. That's what you're paying for. Uh, they are here, the real world of Poltergeist documentary in two parts. So you have Science of the Spirits and Communicating with the Dead, The Making of Poltergeist, and the Theatrical Trailer. So there you go. Pop this uh, super glossy slip off there. So again, I always say with these older releases, these older releases when they're when they're upgraded to 4K just look fantastic. The Goonies, um, Pet Cemetery, um, The Lost Boys, the Poltergeist. I'm trying to think of another one like older horror movie that I think looks great in uh, 4K. Beetlejuice is one, but that's not like a, it's not an example. I don't know. I could think all day, but like these older films, typically when they get upgraded to 4K, just look so crisp and so clean. I, in my opinion, I really do believe so. Back to the Future is one, though it isn't a horror movie. So you have, there you have the standard edition Blu-ray cover, no slip. Again, the only thing you're missing is the ribbon. So on the back, you have a little more information. Like I said, 1982. Um, so it says, they're here. Playful at first, but not for long. Little Carol Ann Freeling is whisked into a special void as her family confronts horror galore. Something else is here. A new benchmark in Hollywood ghost stories. Producer Steven Stilberg, Frank Marshall, and director uh, Toby Hooper head the elite scream team behind the classic chiller. So there you go. And they do have a warning, too, because it won't come with the slip right on the back there on the ribbon. So I guess this must have... Uh, I mean, there has to have been a story or some sort of incident that happened with the, uh, with some of the, I'm imagining the, the flashing light. I could probably think of the exact scene in all honesty. Uh, and if this is burned into your mind, you probably could have too. So there you go. Check out the inside here. Oh, and then here you go. So this isn't the digital code, nor is it attached to it, but we have 
just another significant warning. So, I mean, I like that they're doing this because, and then I don't know, I myself don't suffer from epilepsy, but I know several people who do, and um, I would I would want to be warned, right? Um, so I'd rather be safer than sorry. So right now you have the the discs, almost no difference there between the discs. So you have the standard Blu-ray with the white logo, and then you have the Ultra HD with a silverish logo. They look very similar. It's basically the same disc, but a ton, a ton more resolution. So going to recommend this on 4K. I'm going to recommend this. Honestly, like I said, I watched it. I liked it. I'm glad I got to check it out finally. Like I said, it makes me want to kind of watch the remake, though I kind of don't because, you know, sometimes they, they, they don't hold up. Let me know in the comments. Have you seen the remake? Is it worth going out of my way to watch right away? Let me know for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check this out in Ultra HD physical 4K. Link in the description. we got to support more releases like this, especially the classics. They look better on 4K. We need them in 4K, so support them. Support Warner Brothers. Link in the description. Thank you, Warner Brothers, so much for sending me a copy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this. Is it a classic? Is it one of those where it's it, it's it's known as a classic, but you're kind of like, eh, eh, not my favorite thing in the world. Um, and should I watch the remake? Should I go out of my way to watch it? Let me know any of those things in the comments. That would be great. If you'd like, there's links to my Blu-ray.com, my eBay page, my TV time, my letterbox, where you all the TV shows and movies I watch respectively, uh, Twitter and Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you later, YouTube. Hey, did you like yet? Did you subscribe yet? Did you click that notification bell? Go ahead and click that notification bell right there so you never miss anything on the channel. And also over here should be additional features for the channel. Um, there should be a video or a playlist or both, maybe one of each for you to stay informed and stay on the channel. And also be sure to subscribe on your way out right about here.